Victoria, and I am an early childhood educator at the Science Center, and I have some friends here with me. I'm Bethany, Lauren, Emily, and we are the education team at the Science Center, and we got together today to talk a little bit about how children love to communicate and they love to collaborate, just like scientists. So we are going to play a game that you should try at home with your kids. You might have heard of it. We're going to play Simon Says. So when I tell you what to do, <laughs> I hope you will participate with me. So if I say Simon Says, you're going to copy what I do. If I don't say Simon Says, then don't do that thing. OK. So Simon Says, put your hands on your shoulders. Simon Says, put your hands on your feet. Simon Says, put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your knees. Oh. Oh, nice work. Good listening, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's one way to do Simon Says, and then you could really change it up and make it even harder. So we're going to do reverse Simon Says, where if I say Simon Says touch your head, you're really going to touch your toes. If I say Simon Says touch your shoulders, you're going to touch your knees, and then vice versa. Knees are shoulders and toes are head. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, so Simon Says touch your head. <laughs> Simon Says touch your knees. Simon says, touch your more toes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a really silly game that's really fun to help kids stay focused and stay engaged and also get your body moving too. So we encourage you to try this with your children at home and we also hope to see you at the Science Center soon.